Today, we're gonna talk about... Reaper racers. And Pop's little what? Team Crystal! Team Crystal! Team Crystal! Hi there, I'm Daniel. And I'm Donna. And together, we're Steam Crow. We are. And uh, so uh, many of you have been getting your uh, Order of Obscuria goodies, and uh, so we wanted to kind of talk about that this for the June deliverables. Yes, we are going to talk about the Reaper Racers. From And, and also, but also the other ones too. So let's, oh yeah. So Badge of the Month and the Reaper Racers. So let's yep. start with the, the Badge of the Month and Badge stuff. of the Month, all right. So the Badge of the Month is called Ghost Smile. And you get your nice little secret code, like with all of our good badges. And here is your awesome. So we were, we think of this guy as some summer fun, like he's just like a summer sherbet kind of fun guy. He's happy and ghosty, but yeah, we just mm -hmm. thought about a fun summer mm -hmm. beach ghost or beach haunt. All right, and with it, you got one of these. This nice little hex envelope. What's that? And inside, there's a, a word that says pull, and most of you figured this out by now. You undo it, and inside is bingo. Bingo. So this is our bingo, our bingo sheet. So for summer bingo, because everyone loves bingo, and so we thought it'd be fun for you to be able to. Uh, uh, laminate it maybe and take it around with you on your summer excursions to see if you can see any sort of monstery summer spirit stuff. Exactly, exactly. Some of these things you'll probably see at camp. Yeah, you certainly could. And yeah. uh, those are a lot of fun. And we, we really, with this Badge of the Month uh, membership on our Order of Obscuria, we just wanted to make it, you know, these are special badges. You're not going to be able to get them other ways. And we kind of want to make them special with these. Yes. With these handouts that kind of come with them. That kind of become yep. like a little bit of a supplement for you. And uh, we're trying to do them in the same way every month uh, in terms of the size of the paper. So if you collected them, you could collect them. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, for the mystery of the month, we worked on Reaper Racers. So this is part of a Reaper Racer. Uh, the challenge was that... We actually gave them all away this month. We, our, uh, our uh, mystery of the month grew. It did. By a couple people. And so what happened was, I usually try to have one or two extra made, and it used them all up this month. So Which is just fine. It's great, but it, we don't get to keep one, and I don't have one as an example. All I have is part of one. So, but I did want to show you this. Um, so the story of the Reaper Racers is that, uh, Skull Rangers, in their lonely times, you know, their friends, they're spending all this time alone in the graveyard and they, their only friends are their, their haunts. And so they started by making games and things for the haunts to do with them. And so one of them made a Reaper Racer, a toy, that uh, a ghost could pull around on a pull string and pull it around the graveyard. And after a while, this started to spread where uh, different, different graveyards started to do it. Mm -hmm. And then it became a movement that the that the Skull Rangers did. So then they started having meetups where they would all get together and have their ghosts race through the graveyard pulling their Reaper Racer. Um, and eventually that spread to the core of the Monster Rangers where uh, the Doomwood Derby, Derby was born out of this, which we'll reveal that later. Yes. But that's kind of where it all came from. But one thing I wanted to show you about your Reaper Racer that you probably don't know is... On the inside, there are a couple secret things that you wouldn't even know about. So that's, that line is where the string is glued in, but inside of every Reaper Racer is a little black heart. So a hollow little heart place. And then the brain has a hex. So, um, you know, we, we think the hexes are the brains, but I don't know, but the, the hexes are- They're good luck. Yeah, there you go. And uh, so those are hidden inside of every one of those uh, 19, 18 Reaper Racers? Uh, there are 19 Reaper Racers. Uh, we have number 16 that was never finished, so the numbering got off. Right, so there are 20 numbered, but 16 only exists in partial construction. And like, that's how it will stay. Like this. I will tell you to be super careful because when I built these, 
I did them all at once, right? So I, I had the laser running for a week cutting these out, and I didn't see the one of the weaknesses in them, and it's this wing. This wing can snap off really, really easily, so just be very careful with yours. And if it happens to snap off, glue it back on. Some of yours, actually all of them, I've already put a blot of glue into each one to help hold it to make it stronger. But if your wing breaks off, it's also a, I don't know, it's like a, a badge of honor that the thing's been used. So don't worry about it if it breaks. Right, and your Reaper Racer did come with a... Oh, a certificate. A certificate, and they yeah. are with a corresponding number. And I thought this one was really, really neat, Donna. I think you did a good job. And look how it looks like a fox. Looks like a little monster. Oh, thank you. That little fox. Well, head. I didn't invent this. The awesome people who created origami did. So, Mr. Origami, Miss Origami, somebody yes. like that. Yes. So this, this one was fun to fold. So I, the hex one is still my favorite, though. I love the hex fold. Well, it fits. It does. So you're probably going to see it a lot because there aren't a lot of origami um, folds that use a uh, a rectangular piece of paper. So here's your certificate, which is awesome. It is signed and numbered, each one is. And then it has the little story that Daniel just told you and all sorts of goodness. So it's really, really cool. So if you want to get in on this um, and get next month's uh, Order of Obscuria goodie reward, um, you know, support us at um, monsterrangers.com and look for the Order of Obscuria. And you can uh, subscribe at uh, any level it helps us. And uh, why would you subscribe? Well, aside from the rewards, which are actually worth a lot more than the dollar value you're paying, um, you're also helping us stay alive. You're helping us spend more time making these videos, making more content, and spending our time on the Monster Rangers the Monster Ranger story. Mm -hmm. And creating things for you guys and for us to do with you. That's right. So anyway, your support isn't just a physical item you're buying. You're you're also lending us the ability to make more. So anyway, thank you to all the members uh, at every level. Yes, thank you very much. You guys are truly special. It's been a, a really great success, and we hope to keep it going. So thank you very much. And uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Never we mind. have something very special this time. It's pop soda. What? That's right. So today, yes. we're going to be talking about sponge. Look at this sponge. Get off the sponge. So sponge is uh, a product by Marianella. It's uh, marshmallow cookies that are artificially flavored, believe it or not. Yes. We, I, we found these on our adventures in uh, oh, Trinidad. Sponge. Yes. So yeah, let's have a look in here. Oh. On the way to uh, Denver Pop Culture Con. Wow. So. Oh, I didn't expect them to be so big. They come in. The a, picture's deceiving. It's all deceiving. This thing comes in astronaut tube. I would call it. Would you call this an astronaut tube? Sure. I think so. It's sealed for your protection. It's good till July twenty fourth of this year, so. We need to eat them. Gotta eat them. Oh my, oh no. Oh, they're pretty. Holy cow, let's get sponged. All right, they're, it's pretty. Oh, it smells like artificial uh, strawberry goodness. Oh. Oh. Marshmallow. Well, that's what it says. I don't believe it. Mm, there's jam in the middle. Graham cracker. Mm. It's not quite a graham cracker. It's almost more of like a shortbread. Mm. I don't mind. Mm. Mm. It's by Bimbo Bakeries. Uh, it's a product of Mexico. Um, it tastes like a uh, a dangerous. Uh, to me, it tastes like a dangerous circus, where if you you eat so much that you'd fall asleep there, and it's so many sweets, and then they come and steal your teeth at night. That's my impression of sponge. It's the sound of them stealing your teeth. 
the goblins, circus goblins. Um, I would have this with a nice cup of Earl Grey tea. Oh? Mm-hmm. I would. It's very good. Um, the back is, um, sorry, I have to take off my glasses. I think it's supposed to say sponge. Oh, I think it does say sponge on the back. This is... Can I go closer? Oh, here. See? There. So that's that's what it looks like on the back. It has like a cloud. You know what I don't like is I don't like the... The marshmallow is very um, rubbery. Marshmallow can be rubbery. It reminds me of a, um, a snowball. snowball. With if, a cookie. If you like snowballs... And jam. If you like the snowball, you probably like sponge. Mm-hmm. You probably would. Uh, you get three in this lovely container. Mm-hmm. So, three. Ta-da. Oh, it's all reflective. Anyways, here's the other two. Uh, um, but no, they're so, okay. So, out of four skulls, how many skulls would you give sponge? Are you going to change the number on me again? No, out of four... Mm. I'd give it a two. Sponge, two skulls out it, of four. This is something. This is something I would buy just for fun, but, but I don't think I would eat it on a regular basis. I would say I would never actively purchase this again. Like it's not bad. It's just not that good. I'd rather have a Twinkie, a Twinkie. If I was having a really really sad day, yeah. I would buy these. Well, why don't we save the rest of these for a sad day? We can't. So when you're sad. I don't want to have a sad day. <laughs> until when you're sad, you'll go, sponge me, baby. <laughs> and I'll just, I'll sponge you with a sponge. It's time for tea. It's time for sponge. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all we have for you today. We're sharing some sponge with you now. Mm. Uh, Smell the terror of sponge. There's no terror. The sugar, the sugar circus is. It in is town. perfectly sugared. Oh. All right. Thank you for watching. You can find us at monsterrangers.com and steamcrow.com and the Monster Rangers on Instagram. Anywhere else? Reddit and all kinds of places. Twitter, Steam Crow there. Alrighty. Um, so I'm Donna. I'm Daniel. I got sponged. <laughs> Remember to believe, study, and protect our monster friends. Gah! Gah! Thanks, guys. Till next time.